Hi guys, so today we'll talk about something else that used to be on uh, cars back in the older days and um, that's pretty much not available anymore today. So, and you can kind of guess what it is. Not the headlights of course, but it's the um, little wiper, the headlight wiper. So I know headlight wipers were not on many cars, but I do know Mercedes had them. Volvos had them, Sops had them, and pro I think there was even some Did the Jaguars have them? Maybe someone knows. I'm not sure. I, I have another car in mind I can't remember what it is that had it too. Uh, it was a European car, so uh, washers Washers meaning sprayers with um, combined with a little windshield with a little um, <laughs> headlight wiper is something that you don't find any more in uh, modern day cars and if you ask me I think it is a good idea but unless you drive in a sandstorm or snowstorm and it's plastered on your on your um, headlights you don't really need it if you have a uh, washing system that sprays uh, water with high pressure on your headlights it's just as good it does a great job too so uh, over in Europe, the cars that have HID, xenon lights, they need to have that. Here in the United States, we don't, so most cars here don't even have washers for the headlights anymore. As for this Mercedes here, as you can tell, it had the um, uh, little wiper standard on the 500. The S500 had him standard, I think the six cylinder ones, they did not have it on there. And by the way, before I demonstrate that, another thing that is uh, kind of extinct on new cars is the glass. This is real glass, it's not plastic, and all of the new cars, if you look at them, is all plastic. That's why they fade, and they look yellow and ugly, and this old Mercedes here, they always look nice and like brand new, because it's real glass. Okay, um, I'm gonna hop in the car, and I'll turn the headlights on just for for fun I'll turn the normal headlights on and also the um, fog lights and the brights for a second and um, then I'll wash the windshield and you'll see that the little wiper will start wiping so let me go grab the key and do that Alright, I hope that did work. And by the way, what you see now is the fog lights that turn on when you have had your headlights on, you close your door, you lock your vehicle, which I didn't lock it so you don't have to lock your vehicle, I guess I was wrong. Um, anyways, those um, are the follow me home uh, lights that are on right now. And it doesn't have any designated lights, it doesn't use the headlights for it, use the fog lights for as follow me home lights. It's back from the day when you had to open your garage door by hand so that you can see your keyhole on your garage door or that you can find your garage or maybe in the parking lot when it's dark that you can see where you're walking. Interesting enough, uh, many cars had that most times all of the lights around the car are on for a minute or two or whatever you set it for. Here it's just the front lights and it's not the um, headlights but it's the fog lights. So we had that, that's number one. 
and of course there's a number two that I want to show you today and let's walk it's on this car as well let's walk to the back of the car get the camera here there we go look at that it's this right here it's an automatic antenna now you'll wonder why the antenna is not in it why is it out here well the antenna broke and uh, no I don't blame the car for that one it was just worn out and I bought the um, new one which was not an original one probably came from China and that one wore out really fast and it just uh, broke and got stuck and then the whole whole crap came out so I was kind of frustrated and I just drove it without it and it works too but I'll buy a new antenna again probably a little bit more an expensive one original one and um, it will be fine the motor works just fine you can hear it in here when you turn your radio on and uh, turn it off so what it does is when you turn your radio on the antenna comes out and you turn your radio off the antenna goes back in that's something cars had back in the 80s 90s maybe early 2000s but you don't see that anymore most cars don't even have an antenna that sticks out like that on the um, on the on them anymore um, the good thing is you can hide your antenna if you don't listen to the radio bad thing is if you go to a car wash you don't remember that your antenna extends when you turn your radio on or even you want to listen to a cassette we don't have CD here in this car uh, the antenna still comes out so you break it it snaps right off and then you gotta buy another one um, I would demonstrate it but I don't think it makes much sense all you can hear now is the motor in here uh, turn and trying to grab this little plastic uh, strip cord whatever that is and it can't find it so it will run for a second and then it will turn itself off so yeah those are two things that you don't see on modern cars but that were pretty normal on old um, old vehicles like this um, Mercedes right here and I have a whole list so there will be much more so wait for the next video until then be good and uh, please subscribe and like and talk to you soon okay I decided to hop in the car and demonstrate how the radio works without the um, antenna maybe you can even hear the sounds okay let's turn it on can you hear it Without you, we'll be gone. There you have it. The radio works without the antenna too. Not as good. Sounds probably not as good. But hey, it's even in stereo. And uh, if I had a cassette. I would even try the cassette. Let's turn it off and you'll hear the sound of the um, the antenna motor trying to get the antenna, retract the antenna. There you go, it's done.